Hi, I'm Dr. Paul and welcome to another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. Our topic for today is vomiting in infancy. So if your child is spitting up, first of all, let me say that it's probably normal. I would say all children spit up. It's just a matter of degree, how much they're spitting up. And so you don't need to be alarmed if your child is spitting up. Let me explain the mechanism because I think when you understand the why of it, what to do about it becomes really simple. When you eat food, okay, infants are drinking, breastfeeding hopefully, right? And the milk goes down the esophagus into the stomach. Now the stomach is like a balloon, so the more they eat, the more that balloon swells up. And you need to understand that right at the end of the esophagus is a little muscle, a sphincter, called the gastroesophageal sphincter. And its job is to hold the stomach contents from coming back out and prevent us from vomiting. Well, all babies have a gastroesophageal sphincter that's a little bit loose. In some, it's looser than others. Hence, this would explain why some babies are more spitty than others. But all babies spit up, and it's normal. So, what we're usually talking about when a baby is spitting up or vomiting is a loose gastroesophageal sphincter and they're going to spit up more if the balloon, their stomach, is distended or over full. And so this is kind of the tricky part. How much are they getting? You never know if you're breastfeeding. You do know if you're bottle feeding. How much can that stomach hold? I use a rule of thumb of take their weight in pounds. Let's say you have an eight pound baby. Divide that by two. That's four. Four ounces is the maximum that an eight pound baby might be able to hold, for example. If you're used to kilograms, then your four kilo newborn, that would be a big newborn, uh, can hold about four ounces. Or that eight pound baby, divide by two, four, four ounces is the maximum. Now realize, a newborn, day one, is only going to take half an ounce, maybe an ounce. Parents get real worried, oh, I'm not giving my baby enough food. By day two, it goes up quite a bit, maybe an ounce and a half to two ounces. By the end of the first week, most newborns are taking two, three, perhaps even four ounces. And by the end of the second week, for sure, three or four ounces every three to four hours, something like that on average. If you have a spitty baby, what's going on? Remember, the stomach's getting too full, the sphincter's too loose, and they're spitting up. So here's what you do. You do more frequent, smaller feeds. If you need to have an ounce an hour, which would be a typical newborn around two weeks of age, one to two weeks of age, they're going to take about three ounces every three hours or an ounce an hour. If you were bottle feeding, you could give an ounce an hour or two ounces every two hours or three ounces every three hours. If you're breastfeeding and you have an ample supply, you're probably going to have to nurse one side, wait an hour, hour and a half, then nurse the other side. That's a way of making smaller but more frequent feeds. Now I know moms, you've got a newborn, you're exhausted, you're thinking this is crazy, I can't do that. You don't need to do that at night. You have to preserve your sanity and get some sleep at night. But during the day, if you're awake anyway, and you've got a spitty baby, and you have ample supply, perhaps you might go one side than the other if you're breastfeeding. So more frequent feeds, smaller volumes at a time, but you get the same volume for a 24-hour period of time will often, most often, solve your problem of gastroesophageal reflux or vomiting in an infant. Now there are a couple other forms of vomiting that you need to be aware of. One is on the other end of the stomach is a little muscle called the pylorus. And if that's too tight, it's not letting the milk through to the intestinal tract fast enough. So as your baby keeps eating, pressure's building, 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 and then explosion. So you might hear the term projectile vomiting, where the, the vomit just shoots across the room. Three, four feet, and it's explosive. What's happening there is that pressure's building, building, building. That balloon, your stomach, is getting so tense, enough pressure, that even a pretty good gastroesophageal sphincter can't hold it back, and it explodes out. Very simple to diagnose. Go for an ultrasound, they have parameters, they can measure the size of the pylorus, and if it's way too large, that's a muscle that's too tight, not allowing the milk through. Having said that, I almost regret mentioning it, because I would say as a busy pediatrician, in the last 25 years, I've had less than a handful of infants with pyloric stenosis. So I see this way less than once a year. I see gastroesophageal reflux, the typical vomiting, daily, multiple times, basically every baby spits up and it's not a big deal.
So I don't want you to be alarmed. Try the smaller, more frequent feeds at first. You can also try having your infant a little more upright. Think of this as gravity. If I'm laying down, my stomach's full, it's gonna come out a lot easier. If you nurse your baby a little more upright, and then maybe you keep them a little more upright for a little while after feeding, 30, 60 minutes, and this might help a little bit. You know, a lot of mom's parents are wanting to burp their child, so they're doing a lot of burping. Some babies just won't burp, don't sweat it. But if you vigorously burp and jiggle a baby a lot, and they have reflux anyway, they're probably gonna spit up a lot more. You may just have to cut that out, don't sweat it, don't worry about burping. So vomiting in infants is almost always gastroesophageal reflux. Very rarely, it's pyloric stenosis, and extremely rarely, like I've seen one or two in a career, would be problems further along in the intestine, some kind of an obstruction, and everything's backing up. Usually, in the more serious causes of vomiting, your child is also sick. A final cause of vomiting, I should mention, is that very sick child. So, but you would know this, your infant doesn't have clear eyes, they're just looking out of it. They're very lethargic, listless, not very responsive, not looking around, not having alert time, or, have, or if they have a high fever, don't even hesitate. You get to your pediatrician or your doctor right away. But for the otherwise healthy child who's spitting up, it's probably gastroesophageal reflux and no big deal. It will resolve on its own, it always does. Thank you for watching, I'm Dr. Paul.